Bella, we were so you know, fortunate enough to be trusted to, 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 to join Paris in this journey of actually introducing his, his work. So thank you to start with. I think for, for all of us, regardless, we are familiar with the arts, when we're not familiar with the arts, because I think they're friends and family and people who love, who love this creative practice. Um, th this man is a bit of a genius, not a bit actually, he's a creative genius. <laughs> no, that's the thing, the reason is because I think he's wearing three hats, and those three hats are actually incredibly important within his own practice. And I think as, as, as an architect, as an artist, and as a philosopher, it gives you almost three keys to access these works. I think as an architect, you need undoubtedly the, the forms, the shapes, and the creative sort of you know, twists and turns that you can actually explore within the canvases are second to none. Creatively, as an artist, is actually making compositions that are indeed echoing expressionism in his own way, in his own terms, as he always did. I and mean, he does call it astral expressionism, which is the cosmos. And I think his third layer, which for me was beautiful to look at and explore, is your idea and your practice as, as a philosopher in terms of inviting people. And the third key is to invite him into your own cosmos. Now, these works, and I think are quite timely, because we do go through tabular times in this world, Farad's sort of, you know, invitation to all of us is to look at those in terms of exploring our own cosmos and only drawing out of it the kindness and the beauty that we actually have. So with those three keys in terms of form, composition and the cosmos of who we are, we have those keys to not just simply understand your art, but also to make our life a little better. So we thank you for your trust, we thank you for really introducing these beautiful works to us. But I think I, as some sort of individual that was happy and, and to, to work with, I don't know your work as well as you do. So I think maybe if you don't mind saying a couple of things about your, this exhibition and you know, our work. So for everyone to actually listen to from you around and just a random person like just well, me. I think okay. the intention is to put me on this, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that I'd have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, exactly what is being done here, it's a certain dimension which I usually travel through that in my mind and in my understanding. I see human as a sort of dimensional, two-dimensional in that sense, the physical and metaphysical. And when you put them together, you can see them better. And that's the thing. And the purpose we are here, what is the purpose we are born actually on this tiny little earth in the whole cosmos? There must be some purpose for it. We have to think about it. So it's not just only just to make money to have certain relationships and all these. We have to get to that goal. The goal is to be a better human being, to help each other, to love each other. And we completely forget about it. 
we get so deep down involved with our emotion, you forget about that. Each individual got his own universe. We are living within our own universe. Most of us, including myself, I used to be very selfish, self-centered. But when we try to understand more about ourselves, we say, we have to let go. There is a purpose in life. What is that purpose? And that's the things I was trying to achieve within my work. So I actually just wrote something new as a sort of new chapter to the contemporary art, and I call it Astro Expressionism. So the expressing yourself, which is the ex expression, you actually somehow show it through your art. And Astro is the sort of astrology and the science. So I mean, in between them, I'm trying to make a fusion between art and science. In my own mind, I'm not claiming I'm a scientist or a mathematician or anything as such. But I feel it in myself. And what I feel is there. And you're to judge about that yourself. Mm -hmm.